next topic we're going to learn about data types so data types we already talked about a bit so data types are different it's a type where you know different sizes and values that can be stored in a variable that is made as per convenience and circumstances to cover all the test cases so it can be categorized into four types data types can be so first is you know it's basic data type we can call it as a primitive data type also we'll see what falls under primitive data types that is basic data types then we'll be talking about derived data types and we'll be talking about user defined data types so enumeration structure union all come under that user defined data type similarly one more data type is there that is you know void so this is not basically data type we're going to use as a return type of a function or something so we're going to learn about this thing one by one and we're going to deep dive into each topic whatever there so in basic or primitive data type you can see characters integers float double void this all will come into it and in derived data types arrays pointers this is going to learn in the further videos and in user defined data types enum union structure these are the user defined data types what are this means how the syntaxes are defined and everything we're going to see it and last is void data type we're going to see this thing also so when you talk about primitive data types or basic data types these data types are integer based or floating based data types either it's going to be integer character or double float this kind of stuff and it supports both signed and unsigned literals what does this means we're going to learn this uh, again when we go to the vs code so basically this data type sizes take taken by it's totally depend upon the architecture of the operating system that is either it is 32 bit or 64 bit so according to that these data types are given some size you can see this size by size of operator if you use in the compiler we're going to see that thing also according to our machine like in mac machine this integer data type when we do size of operator we use that time it can show 2 byte or when window machines it's 64 bits so it can show 4 bytes of memory it takes so it can vary according to the operating system whatever in your machine so generally we're going to take 4 bytes for integer float means it's a floating point it means uh, it going to have decimals and it's going to be 4 bytes double means it's a double floating point for a larger number we use double double so we give 8 bytes size similarly character is there short integer long integer void short integer means it's going to take less less values like number is not going to be that much huge and for long integer number is going to be bit large similarly void will not take any data types it will not take any size void so we're going to see these things in the compiler let's jump to the compiler and let's see what are these things mean and we're going to define each and every data type one by one so we can understand very easily what i mean by that so let's jump to the vs code now we're going to see the data types examples here what i mean by that so for that i'll create one new file here and i'll write six and i'll write data types dot c here we're going to see only the basic primitive data types arrays union structure in um, everything we're going to learn in details so right now we're going to study about basic primitive data types and how those data types are defined what are the syntaxes everything i'll click here and i'll write clear in the terminal so that i clear the terminal okay now 
to revise once again we learned about integer character float double void these things and we learned that short and long also so integer is further divided into short integer and long so we learned about that signed and unsigned also right so what does signed and unsigned means using signed data we can store both positive or negative values in our program we are not always working with only positive values sometimes requirement will be there to store negative values also so in that situation we should go for the signed type because signed type data type will accept both positive and negative values but if it is unsigned type then it strictly accepts only positive values negative values will not be accepted in unsigned data type further going we're going to de define everything and we're going to see what are this means first i'll write the header file here hash include std io dot h and after that i'll write the main function so main function i'm typing as return type is integer and main function this is how we write functions so we're going to see these things in details the further videos let's go forward with integer that is the first data type so integer and let's define a variable let's say a and let's store some value in it let's suppose 2000 so a is a variable which is type of integer and storing value 2000 so a is a positive integer data type all right let's move move ahead so this is how it's defined defined i'll write the comment here also positive integer data type if you want to access this a we have to write a printing statement that is printf and there we have to use that so we already did in the previous examples you can see right now we're going to define all the data types how it is declared how and, and how it is initialized we're going to see this here so integer type is done now we're going to do with the float what does a float data type means so float is the keyword and let's say b is the data type we are variable we are using so float is nothing it's just decimal so let's say 5.87 so this is a floating data type so float data type all right this is also done float is the keyword for the decimal all right now we're going to use care so char is a data type for character so let's define c is as a variable and let's store some value in it let's say a it means what c is a variable character variable where a is stored whenever we write character we write in single quote you have to remember this whenever we write string we write in double quotes but whenever we write character we write in single quotes this is need to be remembered so this is what char data type all right this is done now we learned about long right so i'm going to define long so long is an integer only so if i define long d equals to six seven eight five some values let's say this much of bigger values so it is what long is positive integer data type integer and long acting as same they are storing integers only right but long is by name you can understand that it can store bigger numbers in it similarly I can store I can write long and let's write variable e and let's store some negative value in it bigger values 
let's say three two four five six i've used two minus sign all right so this is what long is negative integer data type all right this much we understand similarly we learned about short right one more thing to remember in float we can store negative values also we can right until unless we use signed or unsigned for that we are free to use anything all right let's move forward let's write short here short let's say f f is the variable we're going to store so this is going to store smaller values let's say 340 it means what short is positive integer data type similarly short g and we can store minus let's say 456 it means what short is negative integer data type all right so this is all about it so we okay one more left that is double what does that double means so double let's say h is the variable name we are storing in it this is how it is declared let's say 5.476 so you see the difference that between a float and double it is storing all the decimal values it is also storing decimal values but it has lots of after point after decimal lots of values are there so there we use double so double is that data type it stores decimal value only so we name it as double float data type basically it's to store bigger decimal numbers we use double keyword so it takes eight byte also integer will take four bytes so we can get it we're going to see that thing also by size of operator we're going to find the size of integer size of float size of character everything we can find that also so these are the things about data types this is how it is defined these are data types a has data type of integer so that's why it's storing integer b has data type of float so that's why it's storing decimal value floating value c is a character data type care is written these are the keywords so these are already defined in the compiler these are the keywords all right this is all about data types we studied about that arrays pointers enum union structure we're going to learn those things in the further sessions we're going to learn about those things so if you want to access this so you have to write printf statement here so you guys can do it we already did in the previous examples so you can access by that now we're going to move to the next topic for this we'll end it here if you are coming to the channel first time, I request you to please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon.